All righty. So, uh, I'm doing this on a Mac today, uh, just because my computer's dead and it's charging, and I didn't feel like turning it on. I figured I'd give it a little bit of a break. This has been on for quite some time. Uh, so, yes, this answers your questions about Macintosh. I do have a Mac now, uh, running 10.28 El Capitan. Uh, but uh, today I'm going to be sharing some PS3 information with you uh, for the uh, Rebug 4.80.1 uh, CEX base and DEX base custom firmwares. Both of the uh, download uh, links will be in the description below as well as the process of step-by-step uh, -step procedure on how to install this. Uh, but yeah, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to download these, well one of these files. Uh, this uh, the Rebug 4 801 uh, Rex is uh, the CEX base version of this custom firmware and uh, the 48001 uh, D-Rex is the uh, obviously the uh, DEX version of this custom firmware, the DEX version. Uh, so what you're going to do based upon on what console you have, whether you're running DEX or CEX, you're going to uh, pick which one you're going to want to download. If you're on CEX, you're going to want to install the Rex version. Now, the reason why it's called Rex, if anybody's asking that question, is because Rex actually enables uh, the uh, the rebug tools to be able to downgrade and swap out your MD5 codes so that you way is, uh, excuse me, so that way you can install DEX based custom firmware and do a lot more stuff with it. Uh, I will be having some videos coming out for DEX based custom firmwares. Uh, everything is relatively the same. The only difference is is CEX is a finalized version of custom firmware and DEX is a demo version of that custom firmware. So there may be bugs, there may not be. That's the only difference between custom firmware. If you're inexperienced with running plugins or installing modifications or doing uh, certain demos with homebrews and stuff like that, I would recommend staying on CEX based custom firmware. That's what usually everybody uses. Uh, I only messed around with DEX based for some time uh, just simply to try it out and uh, try and produce some of my homebrew of my own, which I do have a few things out there which I will be getting to. But first and foremost, so after you download one of these files, depending on what custom firmware you're running, you're going to want to install, um, or not install, but uh, pop in one of your uh, flash drives to your PC. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I got too much shit in the way for me to pop in my flash drive here. So hold on one side. I need a light in the back here. I got to find it. <laughs> Can't even see. Got it. Okay. All right, so once your flash drive pops up, which Mac is nice and it pops up right on the dashboard there, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take one of these files and, uh, well, actually, I could probably get rid of these things here. Let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Move that to trash and move this to trash. Okay, so we have a PS3 folder, all capitals. Uh, so you create that folder. Then inside that folder, you're going to want to create an update folder. And then inside that update folder is where you're going to put your uh, custom firmware installation. So uh, I'm running CEX base on my PS3, so I'm just going to drag and copy this over to there. Uh, on Mac, you'll get your fancy little loading bar of copying and allow that to copy over like so. Now also, there's going to be another video coming out. There is a new version of uh, Multiman uh, 481.0 uh, I will be uh, going over. And also going over installation of the Stealth codec for uh, the uh, Multiman. So that way any of you that are not banned and are spoofing your MAC address and your console ID uh, so you can log online to the PlayStation Network, uh, that will be all uh, set up for you so you're not detected by... Uh, uh, multi-man and multi-man is pretty nice now because now you can like disconnect from the internet install the stealth version and now you don't have to like boot up multi-man anymore to boot up the stealth version of multi-man and then reconnect you can just stay connected all the time now and just boot up your stealth multi-man all right so anyway so now that you copied this uh basically what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna move this to the trash here because I don't need that anymore so we're just looking at our rebug firmware here what you're gonna do is 
you can already see that I have the back hash labeled PS3 updat.pup. What I just want you to do is just take the, uh, the oh, come on, just take the rebug underscore four eight zero one rex underscore out of there, uh, backspace that, and rename it as the uh, PS3 updat.pup. So once you've done that, uh, all we're going to do now is go to the uh, PS3 and install this.